Hello everyone, Berthin here with an in-depth guide on Hammer. I climbed to very high elo with both Road using hammers exclusively in Season 2. I will show you each move's strengths and weaknesses, then explain the different situations to use them in and give some overall tips at the end. Neutral light has very short startup frames, spread out active frames, meaning there's a lot of inactive frames in between, and very short recovery frames. It covers a small area with short range and does very high damage. Sidelight has medium startup frames, medium active frames, and medium recovery frames. It covers a decent area, with decent range, and does high damage unless you hit with the last few frames. Downlight has medium startup frames, short active frames, and medium recovery frames. It covers a small area with decent range and does very little damage. Neutral Air has long startup frames, short active frames, and long recovery frames. It covers a good area with long range and does extremely high damage. Side Air has almost the same stats as Neutral Air in terms of frames and coverage. Its range is slightly worse relative to its direction in comparison and has a bit lower but still high damage. Down Air has medium starter frames, long active frames, and medium recovery frames. It covers a decent area with decent range and does medium damage. Recovery has medium startup frames, short active frames, and long recovery frames. It covers a decent area with long range and does little damage. Ground Pound has high startup frames, active frames last until you let go, and long recovery frames. It covers a huge area with decent range and does extremely high damage. Now that I went over all the hammer moves, let's talk about how to use them effectively in the neutral game, which is the part of the game when neither player has an advantage over the other and are trying to land the first hit onto the enemy. Neutral light is an amazing close range move. It has one of the shortest startups in the game. So whenever you get close to the enemy, using this move means that you hit the enemy first before they can attack most of the time. It has a lot of active frames. So it's also good for catching those players that just love waiting for you to attack and then spot dodge right away. If you notice players doing that, walking up to them and throwing out a neutral light will almost always work because the active frames last just as long as a normal dodge does. It does have quite a bit of dead frames in between active frames though, but it's small enough that most players can't take advantage of. Satellite is incredible at punishing missed moves on the ground. Don't mistake this for great at spacing though, because it has pretty mediocre range. That's even shorter than Axe Neutral Light. You can effectively space against shorter range weapons like Katars, Sword, and Gauntlets with Hammer Satellite, but not against longer range weapons. The true strength of this move is the fact that it moves the hitboxes forward really quickly, while maintaining a decent range, so it ends up covering a huge area over a short time. That means that whenever someone misses a move near the ground, whether it be long range or short range, attack, you can almost always instantly satellite after they miss and it will be able to reach them. So it's a really great move for baiting out enemy attacks. Some examples of baiting out attacks are when you chain dodge forward and then backwards making the enemy throw out an attack in the anticipation of your engage but you backed off so you're safe. Then you satellite to punish them. Or you can simply move a bit in and out of the enemy's range really quickly so that they try to hit you but miss because you backed off. Then you can satellite to punish them. Downlight is a great move that is primarily used as a guaranteed punish because it doesn't have very good range and its hitboxes are pretty small. Its range is about the same as Satellite, but it doesn't move forward. So Satellite is normally better at punishing at a distance. While Neutral Light is much faster, so Neutral Light is normally better up close. But Downlight has the most true damage potential because it can combo into almost all the lead attacks. It can combo into Down Air, Side Air, Satellite, and even Neutral Light. I normally just use downlight into sidelight or sider though to keep things simple. Sometimes I can't do that though if the downlight hits too close up, so I have to combo into downer in those cases. So you don't want to use downlight most of the time, but if you can get an easy punish using downlight, then always go for it because it can combo and do a lot of damage. Neutral Air is a really great move to catch out enemies by surprise. The startup on Hammer Neutral Air is really slow, so it's not very good at contesting. It makes up for its lack of speed by having some of the best hitboxes in the game. The vertical range is really good and will outrange most downers. The width of the hitbox is also great, so it's hard for enemies to simply move out of it or dodge through it. So the key to using this move is to surprise enemies by making them think you go for a side move, causing them to jump up, then use Neutral Air to catch them by surprise. If you've played Hammer before, then you run into people who know they're fast enough to jump or dodge around your satellite or side air because hammer moves are kind of slow which is why it's really good to use neutral air when that happens you can also use this very safely to contest enemies that are way above you since they can't punish the neutral air for being slow if they're way too far above you although jumping into instant neutral air would catch people above you most off guard it's really good to mix it up by jumping and then waiting a quarter to half a second then using neutral air the jump could cause the enemy to waste dodge because of the pressure of a quick neutral air then when they don't have dodge you can neutral air more easily plus falling neutral airs are much harder to punish since you fall downwards when your enemy is above you 
SADA and neutral air are almost the same in terms of speed, so everything I said about waiting and pressure on neutral air can be applied here. For example, if you approach the enemy from the air and they expect to SADA and try to jump up to avoid it, then you can jump before using SADA as well, or if they dodge behind you, you can turn around and use SADA. SADA, however, does not have the range advantage against most opposing SADAs like neutral air does against opposing down airs. In fact, hammer SADA is outranged by any weapon SADA that has longer range than sword SADA, which is most of the weapons including axe. To make up for it, the SADA hitbox is very tall, having hitboxes that ends above you about the same range as a Qatar neutral air does. This means that the hammer SADA is very hard to simply jump out of. So you want to hit SADA close to the enemy when they are likely to jump. Some examples are enemies that are really dodge happy, you walk close to them, they dodge right away. Then you SADA slightly above them and they can't escape because they wasted dodge and if they jump then you still catch them. Then there's enemies that are really jump happy, that are always trying to be a bit above you height wise, and when you move a little forward they jump. When that happens, jump into instant sider and you might catch them with the top of your hitbox. If the enemy likes to speed dodge engage, avoid their engage by jumping up and let them use an attack or jump. Then hit them with sider, they won't be able to just jump out of it. So basically, don't try to randomly throw out siders at long range hoping it will hit. It's too slow and short range for that. Use it wisely in a situation where the enemy is unlikely to dodge it but rather jump up. Down air is a great move for punishing missed attacks and predictable dodges. Unlike the other hammer air moves, it's really fast which is great for contesting enemies up close as well as quickly punishing missed moves. It also has quite a bit of active frames, so if enemies try to engage with standard dodges, then you can jump up and fall into down air and let the active frames catch them. Something that a lot of players don't notice is that the down air has hitboxes that starts behind the user, which is why it's a good idea to turn away from your enemy when you start a down air, it's more likely to hit the enemy this way. Recovery is most commonly used when you're below an enemy off the platform because it will switch the roles of the players drastically, especially at all range and higher damage. When hit, it propels the user a decent distance upwards and the victim below them which is usually an instant knockout at red damage and leads to an easy edge guard at dark orange. Its startup speed is the same as down air, so it can definitely punish very well, but most players don't let that happen since contesting a hammer from high above is very hard unless you have a spear. This is because the recovery moves the user upwards with the hit boxes, similar to satellite, so it reaches farther than it looks. It also has a lot less damage than a neutral air, so it's rarely used other than the sidewalls. Ground Pound has incredibly high force and damage even when compared to all the other weapons ground pounds. It can knock out enemies at much lower damage than most weapons can when edge guarding. However, it's very hard to land against good players because it has long startup frames and moves very slow as well. So if you want to land it against good players, then it can't be from a far distance especially when the enemy has a dodge. They will dodge it every time. Instead, fake the ground pound once or twice. What I do is let the enemy come up close to the sidewall, then I jump up as if going for a ground pound. But I let myself fall a little, then I jump up again then ground pound. The enemy will often be tricked into dodging early and getting hit by the ground pound. After that happens they might think I'll do it again but then I'll ground pound on the first jump and they won't expect it and get hit. That covers the neutral game. Now I will go over some tips and tricks to help your general gameplay. As I mentioned earlier, hammer neutral light is very fast which makes it a really powerful follow up if you miss a move. Like if the enemy has short range so they prefer to dodge close to you every time you throw an attack, you can neutral light after they dodge close to you when you miss and it will have a good chance of hitting them before they can punish you. You can also engage with a downer but barely miss then throw out a neutral light and it might hit them before they can even punish you. To put into perspective, hammer neutral light has 4 startup frames. Well, jump and dodge both have 2 startup frames, so it only takes exactly 1 30th of a second longer to neutralize than jumping or dodging, an extremely small difference. Neutralite has a lot of advantage frames, meaning you can start moving before they can, so it's always a good idea to chase dodge after neutralite. At weight damage, you can neutralite into chase dodge side air for a quick string, which is still dodgeable. After weight damage, they'll be hit too far for that, but you should still chase dodge anyway for more map control, since hammer is great at controlling space around it. Knocking enemies out is surprisingly easy with down air. Using down air against an enemy on the ground at red damage has almost the same knockout potential as using a side air on the enemy at the size of the platform. Since the recovery is relatively quick, you can follow up a missed ground pound with recovery to get some unexpected knockouts. The key is to stop the ground pound earlier than you normally would. So if the enemy is jumping up to the wall and they are saving their dodge for the ground pound, then ground pound to the spot where you think they'll dodge towards, stop, then use recovery on them. 
Be careful about falling up to Satellite at white and light orange damage. You actually have no advantage frames whenever you hit a Satellite at that damage range, so it's best to reset afterwards. Many times, I've tried to follow up Satellite with the Chase Dodge into Quick Downlight. The enemy often punishes me with a Neutral Light because they are out of stun the same time as me, so they hit me first. Downlight, oddly enough, is one of the top 3 shortest moves in the game right now. This means that if you use Downlight at a distance that the enemy can't reach right away, then you likely won't be punished. This could be very useful against players who tries to react to your attacks, rather than actively engaging. Perhaps they only move forward once they see you miss an attack. If so, you would want that attack to be a Downlight, because you will only be restricted for a short time if you miss Downlight. Then you could use a Sidelight or a Side Air after they move forward because they saw you miss an attack. As mentioned earlier, Hammer surprisingly has the most true combos in the game at the moment. I've made a video with step-by-step -step instructions on how to do them. I'll link it at the end of the video if you want to check it out. The Hammer also has the one combo that can kill it an early dark orange damage, called the Russian Mafia. It's downlight into jump chase dodge into reverse down air. It's a bit complicated, which is why I made a video on it as well. In addition to all of this, Hammer Downlight has so much advantage frames that it can true combo into at least one signature on every single Hammer Legend currently in the game. In Scarlet and Kor's case, it can combo into all of their Hammer signatures. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, then please subscribe and consider checking out my other guides. I'm always open to ideas for new videos, so tell me in the comments section below if you have any. And I will see you guys next time.